After years of dysfunction and disarray within the state's Children, Youth and Families Department, the governor created a council to help revamp the troubled agency. The goal to fix problems like children being returned to dangerous homes or being forced to sleep on CYFD office floors. But a year in, one council member told us no one was listening to them. KRQE investigates exposed those concerns and as Ann Perrette shares, thing that turned things around and Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham would not interview with me about that change, but she did speak to a member of our team and asked them to pass along her gratitude for our investigation, questioning the point of CYFD's Policy Advisory Council. That story put us into a meaningful position with the Advisory Council to start working on policies, and in fact, that's exactly what they're doing. It took a year and one member calling her out for Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham to meet with her CYFD Policy Advisory Council. She created this Council of Child Welfare Professionals, tasking them with providing recommendations and policy changes to improve the state agency that's dealt with scandal after scandal scandal for nearly a decade. We're rolling out what they're calling kind of a blueprint for all of the changes they'd like. They're working really well together. We're figuring out some changes to some voluntary policies that we worry don't put parents in the best possible position to safeguard their families. Work one member previously told KRQE investigates she thought they would have been doing starting with the Policy Advisory Council's first meeting in May 2023. This policy council that I'm on is full of wonderful people with wonderful ideas, and we have all shared our ideas so many times. And the people who are supposed to be listening and making the decisions have not done a single thing that we have suggested. Barbara Yale, a former foster mom who runs the nonprofit Lighthouse Foster and Adoption Support in Roswell, sharing her frustrations in an emotional interview earlier this year. We have offered some suggestions, like I said in the past, about helping retain and recruit more foster families. The same as with staff, like we've offered solutions to help um, improve their staff retention. Is any of that being listened to? It does not feel like it. The governor now saying after this interview aired and KRQE investigates confronted the governor about the council's lack of progress, she met with Yale and the other council members. And so congratulations. Thank you for that story. And thank you to the advisory council who's working really well with an incredible new secretary who in fact is turning things around as we should. A spokesperson for the CYFD secretary says the council is now working with an NMSU program to quote, develop a statewide blueprint of child services. And ahead of next year's legislative session, members will help the state agency craft new legislation. But we have a lot more to do for poverty and child well-being in the state. So we're gonna keep doing that work and folks should expect that those investments are gonna be a number one priority in the next session as well. But things are moving in the right direction. So tell your colleague, thank you. The ball is finally rolling with this council, but without any results yet, we still don't know what this means for the future of CYFD. So we will continue to keep an eye on the council's progress. Back to you. All right, thank you, Anne. The council is still not fully staffed. CYFD tells us the three vacant positions should be filled by the end of this week.